Well, if you are a news channel junkie like I am, a brand new show to tell you about that's launching later this evening. Now, the host, you will know, award-winning journalist and anchor Kevin Newman. He joins us on the line from Toronto today. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, Molly, how are you? Good, nice to have you, pleasure having you. Let's talk about Kevin Newman Live. Uh, you, you say you're going beyond the North American news filter. I have to say that intrigues me. Yeah, I mean, by the time this show airs at, at 8 o'clock, um, most people, we assume, will know what the major headlines are. They're, they're, they're like you. They're news junkies if they're watching News Channel. So our mission is to try to find things that you don't know about the day's headlines. So we look at what's being said on Skype, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. And there's all kinds of information on that. For instance, we have this um, uh, tool called Geophedia, where we can put a little triangle on a Google map uh, over, let's say, Toronto City Hall. And out pops all the social media and Instagram stuff that's being said about Mayor Rob Ford right now. So uh, that's one way, one new innovation uh, that we plan to cover uh, news events like this. It's not just about what reporters are saying in a place, it's what everyday Canadians are saying in a place too. All right, now I understand with that interactivity there is a show before the show. What is that all about? The TV show KN Live, which starts Monday, is the last part of our rollout. Uh, for three months, we've been on social media uh, sharing the build of this show. We launched knlive.com uh, two weeks ago. So we've had a fully active website. We've been rehearsing this show for a month. Uh, we have shared the rehearsals with people. So what we're trying to do is establish a new ethic of transparency that you're not only watching a television show, but hopefully you feel part of the production team that builds it. Uh, you can see uh, the material that we use to build it. and. Uh, uh, and, you know, we're trying to lift the veil a little bit on uh, how these things get made. I'm curious then, Kevin, I mean, are you constantly moving on the fly as the show goes? Like, how much is actually in stone before you go to air? Well, you know, um, some of it. <laughs> and then stuff happens while you're on air. So, um, you know, mostly because we're looking for different angles on the news, uh, a fair amount of this show is, is, is prepared before we go to air. But we're on a news channel, so if news breaks, uh, we have to cover it just like you do. Uh, but a fair bit of it is, is ahead of time because what we're looking for are different things. Uh, if we're successful uh, Monday to Friday, uh, you will come to realize that if you want to learn new things about the stories you already know, different perspectives um, that you'll know that we're the place to come at 8 o'clock. And um, if, if we're successful, that will develop into a habit. Um, or on big news days, if you want a, a different take than you're getting on some of the other channels, then hopefully we'll be able to provide that. Now, Kevin, you've done almost every coveted job in the biz, right? National anchor, political correspondent, investigative journalist, worked internationally. What is the appeal to you about this type of programming? Well, it's a great question. Uh, this show pulls in everything I've ever done in my career into one hour. I get to use my experience anchoring a national newscast, but I'm also using experience that I gained at the CBC when I hosted a show called Midday. We're doing book interviews, which I haven't done in over 20 years. It has a little bit of the sensibility of a show I did at ABC called World News Now and the Overnights. Uh, you know, I get to not wear a tie. I get to roll up my sleeves. I get to be a little more relaxed and a little more conversational uh, than I've been in other formats. So uh, it, it occurred to me a couple of weeks ago that this show is an amalgam of everything that I have uh, done in my career and because of that it's uh, it's a gift and we get to have all of that right here on CTV <laughs> yeah there's lots of it and thank you for your interest I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to see how people react to it the interesting thing about about pushing the show out on the internet the rehearsals out earlier is we're starting to get reaction to the show before it appears on television and I don't think anyone's had the benefit of that before yeah that's pretty cool hey Kevin thank you so much for joining us we look forward to tonight you can catch the debut of Kevin Newman live Monday 8 o'clock Saskatchewan time